Hey guys, Buff Elgato here. I want to show you everything you need to know about the spe special Miracle Tonic on Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you're looking for the pamphlet and you are before chapter 4 in the story, you're wanting to go right here, right above the E uh, in West Elizabeth. If you go over here, you're going to find a little cliff uh, that's about a... It's like a midway height cliff, which what I mean is there's a cliff above it. So it's not going to be up there where I'm looking, but it's like one step down. There's going to be a tent here and a box. And if you go in here, you will find the pamphlet in the box over here that's next to the tent. Now, if you are in chapter four or beyond that, it will not be here. As you can see, I'll open this up and it is gone. It is, it is not in here. So where this is after chapter four is at the fence. You can buy this at the fence. And I want to show you the price of it, where you can get it, things like that. And I'm going to show you all the, the supplies where they're located at as well. So if you look under crafting, under tonics, you can see there's a lock on it. Now, I actually uh, have already bought it. As you can see, I'm here at the fence. This is right outside of Rhodes. You can go to any fence you want. And you see that it's like um, $34.25. So, but the problem is a lot of people don't know is you got to go over to your documents and go down to the recipe pamphlets. And you have to actually read these to unlock it. Even if you find it, even if you buy it, you have to go to your documents and actually read these. Once you read it, once you go and click on it, your guy will pull the paper out. He'll read the pamphlet. And you can see at the top, it says, you have learned the special tonic recipe. Now you can create it. Okay. So you're going to need six plants of each to make one special miracle tonic. And I'm going to show you right here at Gill Landing, all along this coast, you're going to find the burdock root. And I'm going to mark each little spot. It's all along this little coast here at Gill Landing. What I would do is just ride around on your horse and bring up your dead eye. And you'll see them glowing. And there's a few other plants around, but you're going to find these. It's pretty easy to find. And I'll show you, like right here, I hit my dead eye and I'm going to come up and that's mint right there. But you're going to see there's some right here, right next to it. All along this coast, you're going to find this burdock root. And like I said, you need six of these uh, for one of the um, materials. The next thing you're going to need is yarrow. Yarrow is going to be all through the heartlands. Again, you're going to need six of these. And you're going to be able to find these all over the place out here in the heartlands. Just run around. You're going to find them where I'm at, right there under the S, up here by this um, lean tree. You're going, to f you're going to find them all around in here. It's a plant with a red flower on top, big tall stalk with a red flower. You'll find the yarrow up here. The next one is going to be the uh, current. Now you have golden current and you have black current. So the golden current, you're going to find it up north near Annisburg. And the black current is found out in the desert. I'm not going to give you that uh, exact positioning because you might not have that unlocked yet. But it is south of Armadillo. But all in here, you're going to find the golden current. And once again, you're going to need six of these just to make one bottle. You're going to find a bunch along the road. These always grow right here right across the street from the burned trees and right here where the squirrel is at this little intersection type. You're going to find them in here. And then once you get the 18 materials, set up a campfire and go to crafting and go over to tonics and go down and click on special miracle tonic. Guys, if this helped you. Please hit like, please share. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.